Welcome to episode 24, featuring five poems by Emily Dickinson, read by Dorothy Fadiman. You're listening to the Sacred Poetry Podcast, brought to you by Whole Self Healing Center. Thank you for tuning in. We're celebrating National Poetry Month each day this April, featuring audiobook selections from the 1989 Anthology of Sacred Poetry, edited by Stephen Mitchell, The Enlightened Heart. Throughout the month, you're being treated to a static poetry from around the world, across various cultures and religions, spanning 25 centuries of spiritual thought. Today is April 24th, 2022. American poet Emily Dickinson was born in 1830. She lived most of her life in her father's house in Amherst, eventually becoming a recluse and dressing only in white. The extent of her work wasn't discovered till after her death, when her sister found a small box containing 900 poems collected in packets. 115 of them were first published in 1890, four years after her death. Emily Dickinson Read by Dorothy Fadiman I dwell in possibility, a fairer house than prose, more numerous of windows, superior for doors, of chambers as the cedars impregnable of eye, and for an everlasting roof the gambrels of the sky, of visitors the fairest, for occupation this the spreading wide my narrow hands to gather paradise. Not revelation tis that waits, but our unfurnished eyes. The soul's superior instants occur to her alone, when friend and earth's occasion have infinite withdrawn, Or she herself ascended to too remote a height for lower recognition than her omnipotent. This mortal abolition is seldom but as fair as apparition, subject to autocratic air, eternity's disclosure to favorites, a few, of the colossal substance of immortality. The brain is wider than the sky, for put them side by side, the one the other will contain with ease, and you beside. The brain is deeper than the sea, for hold them blue to blue, the one the other will absorb, as sponges buckets do. The brain is just the weight of God, for heft them pound for pound, and they will differ if they do, as syllable from sound. Nature the gentlest mother is, impatient of no child, the feeblest or the waywardest, her admonition mild. In forest and the hill, by traveler be heard, restraining rampant squirrel or too impetuous bird. How fair her conversation, a summer afternoon, her household, her assembly, and when the sun go down, her voice among the aisles, incite the timid prayer of the minutest cricket, the most unworthy flower. When all the children sleep, she turns as long away as will suffice to light her lamps then bending from the sky with infinite affection and infiniter care, her golden finger on her lip wills silence everywhere. You're listening to the Sacred Poetry Podcast, brought to you by Whole Self Healing Center. Thank you for tuning in.